Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It is your queen, divine mother, goddess Yamaya, your intuitive guide. And I am going to be doing an intuitive reading for you all today. Today is November 20th, 2022. It is Sunday. Welcome to today, you all, for all of my newcomers who's just waking up, grand rising to you all. And I'm just going to be getting started. I'm going to be doing a zodiac signs each zodiac sign the first one i'm going to be starting with will be capricorn it'll be for your sun moon and rising signs keep in mind guys that the roles can be interchangeable i could be saying feminine i can be referring to a masculine it can resonate with you i could be saying a masculine it can resonate with you as a feminine so just reverse the roles as they fit for your story do not try to make anything fit that does not belong to you take some of the story if it is for you and leave the rest not everything that I say will be in regards to you and your situation. Um, so I just want to let you know that as a disclaimer so you won't be confused. Um, but the first card we have at the bottom of the deck is going to be Queen of Pentacles. This is going to be in reference to someone who is pretty much sitting on that throne looking very beautiful could like to wear really long um curly coiled um hair extensions or their hair could just naturally be long this is someone who's of royalty someone who is able to um, manifest um, very well someone who's able to um, help and be there for others when they need it someone who doesn't look down on others someone who's understanding um an empath for the most part pretty much is there for those who they care for or don't know um, in their time of need. Someone who's very abundant in pretty much everything that they touch. A lot of things just come to them. They're pretty much um, well established. This can be in reference to someone who may be a Leo, a fire sign, or pretty much any sign. Um, someone who is blessed by the divine with the roses um, there as well someone who's very fruitful, someone who minds their business and tend to what is tending to them or tends to what is needed to be tended to in their life. But overall, it is them focusing on their life and not worried about what anybody else got going on, what is happening around them. This Queen of Cups could have just gotten out of a relationship or maybe single. A partnership that they were in may have ended. Someone could have been juggling this Queen of Pentacles, or if this is in regards to you as the Queen of Pentacles showing up, then you could have been juggling a lot, whether it's in relation to this relationship, um, or it could be in relation to work, but I'm heavily getting relationships with the Two of Cups coming out um, that is based around relationships could be a um, work relationship or it could be a romantic relationship this could also be a romantic relationship that is taking place at the workplace or this could be someone you met at work someone who um could be a leo from work could also be a water sign cancer pisces scorpio also could be in regards to a Virgo. Someone could be a Virgo, um, Taurus, or a Capricorn Earth sign, pretty much, who is being juggled. This Queen of Cups could have two people that she is juggling or trying to figure out who she's going to be with at this time while she is single, pretty much. But if this is someone who just broke up with someone, then they could have left them because they were being juggled in a relationship. And this Queen of Pentacles does not tolerate that. We have the Nine of Swords showing up. Someone could be staying up late at night in their bed. They could feel like this was their last opportunity or that they don't have any more opportunities around them. Someone could, have, could be down bad on luck when it comes to relationships. Or someone who you could have broken up with could have stabbed you on your back multiple times where you finally walked away from them because you know you don't have to go through this. There's someone who's blessed by the divine. We have more roses showing up here. Look at that beautiful palette of roses. It's like she's clothed in it. When she sleeps, she's protected by spirit. 
If someone is crying late at night, this could be an older woman, doesn't necessarily have to be. This could be someone who's very um, eccentric, someone who's very old school, ancient in their ways, or just could have an ancient soul. This is someone who's pretty much soft at heart, definitely very delicate as well. Someone could be having a lot of anxiety about a breakup that has taken place. Not feeling like they're going to be able to move forward and be able to replant the foundation or lay down a new foundation that they could have started or that they'll be having to start. They could be feeling stuck in their head about it or not really wanting to move forward until they're over their heartache. In regards to the situation, they can't even pay attention to their money at this time. We have the Five of Wands coming out. Someone could be very competitive, especially if this is in regards to a workspace. Someone could have a hard time sleeping at night because they're too concerned about what's going on in the workplace. Could be a lot of chaos and drama, especially if you work a nine to five or not necessarily that, but more so a weekly job or a job where you're working weekly, Monday through Friday, or just five days a week, full-time job. You could have a lot of people that's in your workplace that's competing against you or is in competition for a spot that you have, trying to confuse you, trying to make sure that you don't get past them, trying to keep you held back. There's a lot of things taking place in regards to you and this breakup or these people that's in competition with you could have been the reason why you've broken up. But you're a star. You have a lot of inspiration when it comes to a situation that you know you want to get yourself out of so you don't allow yourself to be held back. You inspire yourself to move forward. And competition also inspires you to go harder. So anything that anyone is trying to throw your way or try to confuse you with is only going to be mind-boggling for them because they're not going to get past it with you. Someone could have wanted to communicate with you or come towards you in this aggressive mode, but they weren't able to. With the Five of Wands and Eight of Wands coming out in reverse, someone could have um, been stopped in their tracks trying to come towards you with some bullshit and drama. They could have stayed up late at night thinking about and contemplating on what the hell they're going to do since you broke up with them or left them and they want to bring you down the sides because they feel like you're sitting on your high horse, especially with you being the queen of pentacles. So they wanted to tear you down and make you feel a size less or as small as they feel. But they are being stopped. Spirit is stopping them. Like, where the hell you think you going? Turn that shit around. <laughs> Yeah, somebody's not able to move forward. Somebody could have thought they were going to come at you with full force, and they could have ended up getting stranded. They could have had a turnover as far as a car crash as well when they were coming towards you in this anger um, mode, trying to confuse you or trying to start a problem with you, not necessarily confusing you. They just were trying to start a problem with you. This could have left you confused or you could, you would end up confused if this situation made it to your forefront, to the, to, you know, your doorstep as to why this was taking place. Could have been five or more people that were together working on a situation or it could have just been more than one. This Knight of Swords is leading the pack though, coming in. And the def in this defense mode, ready to pretty much stand his ground in regards to this breakup. This could also be a brother of yours who's ready to defend you against anyone who's trying to come towards you or trying to hurt you. If, if this is a romantic partner, even though you're not with them anymore, they still view you as someone who they highly respect and someone who they will always protect. So they won't allow anyone to try to hurt you, especially if they know things about you um, as far as your past. And, you know, a lot of things you could have overcame. They could feel like you don't deserve to go through all of this anxiety or having to worry about anyone coming at you or any extra bullshit because you got enough to go 
go through this could be someone who you have a family with or someone who view you as their family or you could be someone who has a family that's a family person and this person knows it yeah someone could also be in competition with you in regards to your family and you having a family they could view your family as beautiful abundant happy cheerful that could really bother them yeah because they're this car i wanted to come out i didn't even try to but i'm going to take it seven of pentacles because what they're growing they could feel like what you planted or you know what you stuck sold into your prosperity is actually coming out to be abundant whereas what they've sown isn't really working out mm -hmm. Angry about this or jealous about this. Yep. This could be a karmic masculine. That's in this nine of swords in their head stuck. Worried about late at night up. Worried and worried about what the hell you got going on and what you're doing. Although they're very karmic, they still want to defend you. It's like a conflict in their mind of whether they love you or not, whether they want to be with you or not, but they see you as the star, Aquarius. They see you as inspiration. They see you as someone who they can grow with. Knight of Swords, King of Swords. This person is elevating themselves in anger though. This is someone who's very defensive, someone who could be very bitter. They can see past their anger, which is why they might end up into a car accident or a motorcycle accident. Yeah, trying to come your way with the two of wands. Coming quick to being a fool. But they don't want an ending to take place. Scorpio, the death card in reverse. They don't want things to change. You could have taken away from them, removed your energy. Yeah. They could have felt like they were secure with you. Felt like, you know, with you, they could have peace. They'll be able to grow. They don't want to be left out in the cold. They want to grow with you. They want to work with you. They want to, you know, have a lot with you. They don't want to have a broken heart. They don't want to hurt you as well. well. This is someone who could be running from a lot of issues don't really want to turn away but knowing that they have to walk away or knowing that you have to walk away and that you can't keep holding on yeah because you're the queen of pentacles you know what you need to do and you keep going you remove yourself from anything that's toxic that will hold you back or keep you blinded you're not blinded you know exactly what you know know you know exactly what you need to do and you know exactly where you're going yeah you could have fooled someone, though. You're very clever. You could have fooled someone into believing, you know, that you didn't see what the hell was going on. Or someone was fooled by an imprint, a fake imprint or an imprint that's coming out in reverse, a karmic that could be a mother figure or a matriarch, or it could be, they could be younger. This emperor could be younger, too. Oh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But yeah, someone definitely is feeling hurt by a situation, feeling like, you know, they want you to grow with them. They want you to be at the same pace as them. They do want to have a family with you. They view, you know, having a family with you as one that will be envied by a lot of people as well. A lot of people envy the family you have already. If you far, if you already have children outside of this person, this isn't your, you know, kid's father or anything like that. You guys could possibly end up having that later on. Someone is having a lot of burdens by not speaking the truth, but a lot of endings are taking place at this time. Someone could be wishing ill on you because, or thinking ill of you because you walked away from them or because this relationship ended, but it needed to in order for someone to get their finances together, in order for them to get their life together as well. They needed to focus on themselves. They could have been putting a lot of focus into you guys. 
But that is what I have for you guys. Please do thumbs up the video as well as subscribe to my channel. I hope that you all are able to um, be able to come back and check out the rest of the readings that I'm going to have for the zodiac signs. If you are a cross watcher waiting for your signs to come up and you haven't clicked that red subscription button, please do do so at this time so that you'll be updated on my latest reads, guys. And I will be coming back to you all with more later. I'll see you soon. Bye.